In this segment, we'll show you how to assemble your new AgriFab 15-gallon tow sprayer. To begin, place the sprayer assembly, part 4, upside down on a protective surface. Then align the hitch triangle, part 6, and fully secure it with 4 5 16 by 3 quarter inch flange bolts, part A, and 4 5 8 inch Wislock nuts, part C. Next, insert the axle, part 3. Now slide on two spacers, part L, followed by a washer, part E. Then slide on a wheel, part 5, with the valve stem facing out. Next, slide on a washer, part E, and secure it with a 1 1 quarter inch cotter pin, part M. Now repeat for the other side. Next, turn the sprayer onto its wheels. Then align the hitch clevis, part 7, and fully secure it with two 5 16 by 3 quarter inch flange bolts, part A, and two 5 8 inch Wislock nuts, part C. Then insert the hitch pin, part D, and secure it with the bow tie clip, part G. Now thread a 3 8 inch Wislock nut, part B, onto each boom support, part 2. Insert then into the frame and loosely secure with a 3 8 inch Wislock nut, part B. Now thread a 3 8 inch Wislock nut, part B, onto the top of each support. Then align the center boom, part 1, and loosely secure it with two 3 8 inch Wislock nuts, part B. Adjust the boom so the height of the spray tip is approximately 17 inches from the ground. Next, align the assembly and fully secure it. Next, align the hose, part 8. Secure each side with a nozzle retainer nut, part J. Then press a spray tip, part K, into the cap nut, part H, followed by a spray tip screen, part I. Secure the assembly to the hose, ensuring the nozzle is aligned parallel to the boom. Repeat on the other side. Now slide the boom supply hose into the boom assembly. Caution, do not connect the sprayer to anything other than a 12 volt battery. Now connect the black ring terminal from the battery wire harness part F to your power source's negative terminal. Then connect the red terminal to your power source's positive terminal. Now connect the switch wire harness part N to the battery harness and route it to the sprayer. Then connect the switch harness to the pump. Now ensure the intake tube is near the bottom of the tank. 